Hi, how are you all? Doing Good, well, how, how about you? I'm doing great. Um, so I have to say, watching the series finale, it kind of felt like, you know, an end of an era in a few ways. So I was just wondering, for the three of you, what was it like filming that last season? We still, as usual with all of our previous seasons, we find out what's going to happen as we go along, which is still exciting. But, you know, then all of a sudden, you realize, like, oh, this is the last time I'm going to do this. Like, this is the last time we're going to get a script sent to us. Oh, this is the last time we're on the Vishal Kumar household set. Oh, this is the last time we're in the hallway. And now this is the last time we're in the classroom. And suddenly, like, things start, you know what I'm saying? Sounds like Eleanor. Closing. That's literally in the line. Oh my God, it's literally Where Eleanor. She's like, guys, this is our last, what is it, getting frozen yogurt This or is our last time we're getting frozen yogurt together. Yeah, and, and I think Davey's like, dude, you can't stop keep, saying that. Can't keep crying over our last. That's funny. Um, but it's true, though. Yeah. Eleanor was speaking facts, and that's when it kind of slowly starts to, you know, tumbleweed effect and just get bigger. You know, like tumbleweeds. I think that's more You're from Texas. Effect, actually, you know about tumbleweeds. Is, He's from Texas. He gets it. Uh, the tumbleweeds that are on your front lawn. Yeah. Yep. In and the then, city of Dallas, we and have then they just get tons bigger. of those in the suburbs. I've never been to Dallas, but I know. My best friend's from Dallas, so I know. Well, speaking of tumbleweeds, I think that joke just flew right on by everyone. But um, <laughs> anyways, Darren Barnett. I um, it's I don't know. I with every job as an actor, I think you get challenged with that fact of like, will I ever be here again? Will I experience this again? Will I work again? And the answer is yes and no. You may work again, but you're never gonna have the same experience, the same job, the same people, yep. the same feeling. Yep. Um, and it's easy to get caught in the race and just be worrying about what's next, what's tomorrow. Um. So really learn to value what you have today. That way you won't rely so much on tomorrow. It's the best way I can put it. And so throughout all four seasons, your characters have so many like moments of growth and changes that happen for them. So are there any that you can think of throughout all four seasons that are some things or some moments that stick with you? For me, I think this is one that I've been wanting to talk about. Um, uh, just like a very specific one, not like the, the most growth moment, because there's so many for Davey. But one that I think is very cool is that um, she, in season one, Ganesh Puja, was making fun of those girls dancing. And then she herself, at Nirmala's wedding, is dancing. And she's dancing to a Tamil song herself in her half sorry. And she's not like when Kamala says, like, hey, are you ready? She's not like, oh, yeah, let's do this, I guess. She's like, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's go, like, blow everyone's minds. And I think that's a nice way of showing how she's grown quite like, you know, black and white, right in your face, of like, look at how she's embraced her culture. And I think that's quite nice, you know? Yeah. Um, I think that for me, one of my favorite Ben moments, which I think is definitely like the culmination of the lessons that he's learned, is that I love you scene in the finale. I think that Ben finally realizing that he has to be vulnerable to be able to c connect with somebody that has like offered him so much growth and has helped him through so much, he has to let it all out there. He has to take that lesson and he has to take that leave of faith and he does and luckily it does it pay off it pays off for him. I mean sometimes that doesn't happen, but for him it really did and it wound up like being really beautiful and heartwarming and I'm proud of him for that. I think that that's a really special moment and just as an actor it's like I've said this before, but that's like one of my favorite scenes of my entire career. And like getting to do it with my tray was like genuinely one of the biggest like privileges and honors of my entire life. Like it was just like that scene is so special to me. Like I, I it'll be very hard for me to beat that. I think I, I don't know. In, in a different way, I think there will be scenes that mean just as much to me. But that one being the the first one, I think that's really just like kind of blown me away. And the writing is so brilliant, and just everything about it. I mean, it was it was beautiful. Yeah. Teaching Eric how to swim. <laughs> oh, no, that's so good. That's really oh. gonna go down. That's so good. You know, for me, is one of my favorite moments. I think Paxson learns a lot of, about himself in that moment. Um, you know, he's at, he asks him, if you know, you know, if you, I, I'm gonna get the lines wrong, but like, if you, if you're so bad at something, why even try? Why not? Why not just mm. give up? Um, and that's a true statement, and Eric's response is gold, and I think it really opens Paxson's eyes um, in terms of what, you know, the choices he's made that led him to where he is, and uh, it makes him want to be better. Uh, it's just a very inspiring scene. It's very funny because Jack 
is the one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life. Shout out, yeah. Jack Seaver. Uh, so it was a joy to shoot. Like killed that emotionally. And, yeah, so, yeah. So good. It's just such a, I mean, that's just one of the show, too, to, to have such a heartfelt moment wrapped in comedy, but still make it hit you in the stomach as much as it does in the heart. It's, yeah. it's fun. Mm. That was really sure. good. Yeah, <laughs> that was really good. Love that. Awesome. Thank you all so much, and congrats on the series finale. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.